Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we have some monster news to talk about. We have some very exciting updates regarding the recently announced season two for the G3 animated series with plot lines, villains, returning characters such as Jennifer Invisibly. And we even have a brand new character who's a transgender pop star called Phoenix. Stay tuned. Let's get into so it. So this was shared here by all image data via their story. This is uh, the first picture we're going to look at of the season two plot, which includes some returning characters. So, but I, first of all, I don't really know where this came from. I just know that they shared it. I don't know who was the original creator of this image or of this. I don't know who this, I don't know who's a source. I don't know who who it's from so i'm sorry <laughs> but um yeah they are the ones who shared it on their story um and i also don't know how legit this is so just take it with a grain of salt it might not be all real it might only be half true so let's see but yeah so here it says monster high season two series caddy jennifer and venus and probably invisibility are the only g1 returning characters to come back this season season two Season 2 main plot is the wear ruler elections with the shapeshifter being the main villain. So we can see right there at the bottom, we can see um, G3 Venus and Caddy. Oh, and remember, the, the Caddy doll is not, re she's not the final doll yet. We have yet to see the actual final doll so she'll maybe look a little bit different and then on the far left we can see invisibility and on the far right we can see um jennifer's g3 artwork uh the artwork had already been you know leaked a while ago um it's not new like people have seen it i've never shared it but um i guess here it is <laughs> so, this is what G g3 um jennifer will probably look like so she looks a lot different she's no longer gold she's like a minty green and like mixed skin tone right and then the hair the purple the black it's all very different so um that's something uh to take in all by itself just her design alone but then of course you know we have the rumor here that she's going to return and then also uh invisibly now we have seen her artwork the it's leaked so i mean she's going to return probably but invisibly uh there's no confirmation so he might return he might not return but i i kind of feel like you know it would it would be cool to see another you know original manster return in g3 like it would be really cool to see him return i mean he's not he's like a fan favorite but he's not like um like i would definitely expect holt uh or or you know jackson or let's see who else like Mm, <laughs> slow-mo slow-mo um who, who else is there so there's there's other um manster characters from g1 that i think uh people would be more excited to see return even though i'm very obviously blanking on their names but um invisibly is definitely like a fan favorite so i think he would also fit quite nicely to return alongside you know caddy uh venus and jennifer so he will be really he will be a good choice but again it's not confirmed so all we have to go off of is this information here um now this is definitely interesting for the you know the plot line so the season two is going to revolve around the where ruler elections so assuming everything goes well with you know them getting claudine's mom back um season two will really focus probably more on claudine and in her mom's relationship and because we come completely missed out on the mom this season so season two will be more of a focus on their relationship um on the mom and yeah on the where ruler elections which makes sense since you know with the mom being back selena you know she used to be the re the, the where ruler but then you know katarina Kat, toralai's mom stepped in and once she you know, Claudine's mom was gone, she became the wear ruler, you know, a Toralai's mom. So uh, once they're, you know, once Claudine's mom is back, of course, they're going to have to reelect and the, who's the wear ruler because they're both going to be there. So that definitely makes sense. It's a very um, strong plot line to have throughout season two because obviously some episodes will not have anything to do with this plot line. Um, but this is definitely a good basis of a, of a plot for season two, I would say. And then adding on top of that, we have this new villain who is the shapeshifter. Uh, this has to be a new character for sure because I don't think we've had a Monster High G1 character so far who is a um, 
a shapeshifter? I don't think so. Uh, not to my knowledge. <laughs> so this new shapeshifter being the main villain. Very interesting. Also, like, how far will their powers go? Like, will can they literally shapeshift into anyone? Or do, do they have to come into contact with the person first? Or do they have to see them? Or how does it work? And who who is the shapeshifter? Have we seen them already introduced in season one? It could, it could be anyone. So this is definitely like a very interesting um, villain to choose for season two. And then, of course, on top of all of that, we have also the returning characters of Venus and Caddy, for sure, Genofire as well, down the line, and then Invisibility being uh, also very likely. So that's Oh, very exciting with these new cast members, uh, new outfits, new themes with the Monster Fest also playing a big line, uh, bi uh, playing a big, um, you know, role as uh, this, uh, as that season's Monster Ball event. Which would also introduce a brand new transgender character called Phoenix. Now, this I first found on Reddit via Laguna Blue on a post. And then I saw that it's a screenshot from all, also from all image data on their story. Now, apparently, um, Laguna Blue on Reddit uh, commented that this is a picture from inside of Frankie's School to Make Secrets locker. Now, I'm assuming they mean Neon Frights Frankie's locker because I don't think Fairdescent or, you know, yeah, this is, it's from Neon Frights um, Frankie's locker, but I don't have that doll, so I can't verify. I also haven't seen reviews, so I don't know. So if you know for sure, if you have a picture of the inside of Frankie's um, Neon Frights School to Make Secrets locker, then please let me know if this is if this is actually real and this picture here that we see here um you can actually see in the locker because i don't know if that's i mean it has to be true that's what they're saying here um and that's where the picture is from apparently so but please let me know if, it, if it's true the text reads her name is phoenix and she is a trans pop star which frankie is a fan of she will be introduced in a monster fest 2024 four-part halloween special that will premiere towards the end of season two so that is already a lot to digest uh more information for season two which is amazing so of, of course as we uh kind of figured out monster fest will be season two's version of the big monster ball from season one so but this time in season two the monster fest will be part of a four-part halloween special i don't know if that's true but uh it might be part of a halloween special but four parts four, really that's like a lot of parts so i'm not sure <laughs> but um it could be a special for sure which W would make sense so um premiering towards the end of season two yeah so that also makes sense that they would premiere um the whole plot line with monster fest at the end of season two seeing as the monster ball will also be the last episode of season one which has to yet air so that is um also very uh fitting that's like the same thing that's happening with season one so that's uh, a coincidence uh and so of course it will be really cool to see a new character introduced at the end of season two with phoenix here who will probably perform at the monster fest so the image itself um shows us a outline of this character um she seems to have like feathers on the very top uh some hair in the back with some flames the makeup looks very fun um the microphone you know obviously she's holding i think she's looking to the side because she's also we can see her second arm right in the back um she's she's positioned in a way for sure uh that that can be very confusing <laughs> but um yeah she she looks amazing but again this is just a silhouette maybe she'll look different um i don't know i don't know again is this actually in frankie's locker or like what's happening here uh we also have like a title of phoenix like at the very top right so is that also like on the poster um we can see well it says world tour at the bottom so i guess she's a established pop star um just like caddy or i guess not like caddy because caddy is going to school but maybe phoenix is older yeah and maybe that's why she's like on a wor world tour and uh, she's not like a new student because she's not a student she's a just a performer who happens to be you know trans which i think that that that's so amazing that's uh, let alone that she's transgender i think that's so great because she's going to be an actual character um they're going to introduce a new a new character who's trans not a, a stat and not a g1 character who is now different or changed like no people will not be able to you know hate on this character because she's brand new she's a new character and you know introducing uh 
diversity, you know, being transgender. So that's amazing. That's what we need more of new, new characters introducing inclusivity, which is,、um, yeah, we, we just need more <laughs> representation. In general, I think we've had really well done representation so far in the animated series. So adding on top of that a brand new transgender character, I think is just amazing. I do hope that they actually give her like a character and not just like, oh, I sing, I'm a pop star. <laughs> Like, I hope it's not that simple. I hope they do give her like a little bit to do in the finale、um, because that it's, it's great that she's getting introduced in the finale, but it's also not great that they're introducing her only at the finale because it means that we're only going to be able to、um, get to know her as much as the finale runs for, you know? So I wish they would introduce her maybe earlier in the season so we can really get to know her、um, better. But yeah, this is very exciting. A new transgender character, Phoenix, obviously, again, probably going to have fire powers, probably going to be very inspired by the Phoenix creature.、Um, they're going to play on that. A lot, I'm assuming, with feathers, fire motifs.、Um, I can't wait to see what her design will look like. If this is a good indicator of what will what's to come, this silhouette.、Uh, maybe she'll look different from, maybe she will look the same like this silhouette, or maybe she'll look different. So I'm not really sure, but I do think they'll kind of like keep it、um, a little bit the same. Because in previous, you know, Skull to Mid Secrets、uh, little Easter eggs,、uh, like with,、uh, you know, Torlai's、um, sketch for her, you know, A monster ball outfit that looks the same. So I'm a, I, I kind of feel like maybe this is also going to be. This is going to be how she's going to look like as well, like her final design.、Uh, maybe they're just teasing it very far in advance. I don't know.、Um, but yeah, this is very. Again, I think it's very important and it's very cool to see finally a new transgender character、um, introduced. Phoenix, she sounds amazing. I just think she sounds really cool. Now, I do think、um, people are going to be a little bit upset that they're going to be introducing another new pop star character when we, we already have Caddy, who's a pop star, and you know, we already have Cast of Fears from G1.、Um, there's already so many、uh, you know, musical. Uh, characters from G1 that are established that you know people are going to be people are going to be like you could have just returned you could have you could have brought back some of those characters、um, but I do think、um, you know her being a new character、uh, it definitely helps and、uh, this she's going to be so important for representation so I just can't wait to see I hope it's true like I really hope this is true I can't wait to see her I hope she gets a doll、um, maybe she will because she will be part of the Monster Fest line I'm just excited to see how she will turn out but yeah that was all the tea we had for Monster High Season 2 what did you think let me know down below I hope you all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and become a member today so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all Little tea you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time, stay peachy. Kisses.